How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode 12. I think it's episode 12. It's been a while since I've last recorded, mostly because I've been sick and you guys can probably still kind of hear it in my voice. Um, so I, I just I haven't been really up to recording. I finally feel a lot better. So I really want to bring you guys another episode. So if you guys want to see the next episode, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And uh, we're going into the off season. So this video might be uh, there. Might, there's most likely not going to be any gameplay, but there's going to be a lot of um, off season stuff. So there might be part some of the rule five draft. There might be some trades. Um, I've already gone through and updated everyone's stats um, based on last season's performance. So we'll go over the team and see how everyone performed. And uh, then we'll go over all the off season moves. So basically, this is just to get you all caught up to get you ready for season three. So looking at the team, this is how we're um, kind of lining up so far. We don't have our new rookies um, yet, which we can actually just look at this way. We saw we had a shortstop, which was the big name player in Geraldo Villanueva, 74 overall. He's 18. And he's got a potential. I definitely want to get him into the team right away. I think he's going to be a great player for us. But that means either Maverick Moss or Rain Rodney are going is going to be moved to the bench. And I'm thinking Maverick Moss is the player that needs to stay with us. He's going to probably going to play second base for us unless we sign a new second baseman. Um, a couple other positional players, Patrick Barrios and Jonathan Busby were two players that we drafted who Jonathan Busby might be a decent little bench bat. He's got good speed as well as decent power versus lefties. So he might be a player I look to bring up to help us out um, right away. Um, Patrick Barrios is a player I might let develop a little bit because he does have good speed. But outside of that, he doesn't really offer too much. Um, I think we drafted a starting pitcher. His name is... Brad Cavazos, that's who it is. He's got B potential, 51 overall. I like the looks of him. His Ks per nine are pretty low, but I think he's definitely going to help our starting lineup right away. And then the rest were relievers, I believe. We had James Kaufman, who I really like. He's got 99 velocity. He's probably going to be our long reliever. He's got 57 stamina, 77 uh, hits per nine. He looks to be decent. And then... There was another one. Luis Diaz is another player who I'm I'm not too sure about. Um, I think he looks decent, but I think we could probably find someone a little bit better in um, through a trade or maybe even free agency. So I'll have to wait about him. There was another player that I did draft who I didn't sign, mostly because I really wasn't too interested in him. I didn't think he was gonna look that he didn't look that good. I didn't think he was gonna help us out that much. And I think the players that we have here is is that is they're good enough. Um, we still have the likes of Darby Jarvis, who's gone up a substantial amount. Troy Lee looks like he could be a decent player for us, even though his potential's gone down a little bit. Malachi and Lennard are probably players that I'm looking to move on from. Maybe find someone to replace them, so we'll have to wait and see. Christopher Robles, I think, is going to be a phenomenal pitcher for us. And the same for Richard Humphrey. We do need a lot of starters. We need three starters this offseason. So that's the main focus. Real Manzar, I think, is going to be a good piece for us to build around. And obviously, Truman Bartholomew, we haven't got him a win yet. That's my aim. I really want to get him a win this season. I think that'd be a great, like, that'd just be a great thing to do. Probably because this is pro most likely going to be his last season. So, with the addition of that shortstop, Peraldo Villanueva, we definitely need um, corner outfields. That's, or corner outfielders. That's my main focus for this offseason to find us some corner outfielders and then maybe like <clears throat> probably it's I don't know I, I kind of like everybody I think yeah I think it's mostly corner outfielders we won seven games so we need three starting pitchers so we're already down to four players that we can find I'm thinking a bullpen arm is a must I think we definitely need to just kind of solidify it we do have Kaufman and we do have, uh, oh wait, no, we have Cavazos. So we need two starting pitchers. We have Kaufman coming in um, to kind of help with the rotation or the bullpen, I should say. And then, so maybe actually, so we're down to what? We need two starting pitchers. So that's two players. We need maybe a bullpen arm. I'm definitely think we need a bullpen arm. So that's three pitchers. Um, so that's three of our seven players right there. And then, I'm thinking two corner outfielders, 
so what that's five so we still have two more so maybe a second baseman and a a second baseman and then something else um yeah let's just kind of see what we can get through trades and free agency um once again we'll kind of look at free agency again there's not many players who interest me julio Teheran is one um I'm, I'm tempted by him outside of that though there aren't too many 80 rated players that interest me um out of this jose abreu is an option but i think he's going to start to decrease um starling castro is another player who i think is going to start to decrease so there really aren't too many names that are catching my eye that i'm like i really want to add them to the team <clears throat> um so i'm thinking trades are going to be the best way for us to get new players so we're gonna have to wait and see how it goes um i've offered everybody uh contracts that were you know expiring contracts that so were good and caught up there so once we get to start making moves i'll show you guys what we do Alrighty. so the next the free agency didn't really show me any good players throughout so i figured going into the rule five draft is probably our next best chance to get any good players um obviously there's, there's some decent players rio ruiz potentials going down and mundo sosa i know his potential drops pretty quickly um at a certain point i did say i was looking for an outfielder but alan cordoba doesn't look to be uh, a player i'm too impressed with neither does michael reed so i'm thinking maybe here is where i add some pitching prospects maybe some pitching some strength in the uh the bullpen i did say i wanted a bullpen arm do i want i kind of want to go someone a little young like who yaxel rios decent um obviously going with you know yimi garcia would be great and i think that might be the best option but i want to go maybe go with the starter as well <sighs> yimi garcia um yeah let's go i i know we need at least one bullpen arm i did mention that i did want one and i think I think that's the best one even if it doesn't work out well you know we we still we still get a player you know that it, it's okay i'm okay with that yaxel rios was the next player taken man I, maybe i should have taken him maybe i should have taken him he's he's looking like maybe i should have taken him instead so this one i know i want to go with a pitcher i think i'm gonna go cole stewart it's not necessarily like a household name but he's 25 you know a potential i know he's not really gonna live up to that a potential but at least he's he's a better starter for us and i think i'm gonna go with another starter here um let's see i don't really want to pick up a third baseman i want i tried to see who they uh recommended and they off, they recommended a, a second baseman so i think i'm just gonna go with another starter Sesa doesn't look that good fulmer doesn't look that good fetty doesn't i mean none of these actually really look that good um pulling a lefty wouldn't actually be bad um is there anyone that's kind of young yohander mendez gabriel moya let's go yohander mendez it might not work out like i said so what is that three new players and i don't really want to use the rest just yet because i want to make a trade unless someone like sticks out and i'm like wow that player is really still here i'm gonna let the rest walk the thing is i think the cpu is still gonna draft us players anyways but we're gonna leave it there that's that's three new players so that's not bad all right so a trade we're gonna do to start our season is with the reds gabby guerrero is a right fielder who he doesn't look too amazing but we really can't trade for anybody else <clears throat> oh we might actually be able to swing gregory polanco 28 almost an 80 overall i don't think he'll grow that much more which could be an issue and i'm like looking at the rest of the options and there really aren't too many 
who interests me or a player that we can we can get. I don't think we can get Brett Phillips. We can't. Jorge Bonifacio is a possibility. <clears throat> Victor Reyes isn't actually that far off. Um, I want Eloy Jimenez, but I can't. I can't swindle the White Sox. Um, they're just, they're just not having any of it. So, looking at these players, there just really isn't anybody that I see in a corner outfield position that we can we can go after. Um, so unfortunately, that's why we're kind of limited in who we go for. Um. <clears throat> Let's see here. Like even looking at it, you guys can see there's just there's just not that many good options that we can you know we can get. Um, like I said, I want to limit it to an 80. I just don't want to be able to go out and get the best player just yet. Um, you know we're still also in season three. We've already made three moves so far. And then those pitching additions. So I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm thinking it might be maybe Gregory Polanco isn't that bad of an option. Maybe there's a center fielder that catches my eye. Keon Broxton, but he's almost 30 already. Um, Alrighty, so this guy looks to be a player that was drafted by the Nationals, but looking at his stats, he looks really well-rounded. He's 22, 77 overall. Um, left and right are his secondary positions, but his arm strength is really good. He's got good speed, good fielding, decent hitting stats. I think this guy could be a decent right fielder for us. I think that's what we're going to do. We're getting rid of uh, Thomas McMahon, um, Trevor Rogers, and also Will Banfield. So players obviously aren't going to get used because they're not part of the zero overall team, like the players that we've drafted or anything. But to be honest, this guy looks pretty decent. So I'm pretty cool with, you know, bringing him in for the team. He looks He looks actually really solid. The next trade we're going to be making is with the Cardinals. We're getting a, a like an actual uh, closer in Dave Julio. He looks pretty good. You know, 76 overall, young. He's 23, a potential, a two seam, curveball, changeup, and a splitter. Got good case per nines already. Good break, good velocity. Not amazing, but it's still pretty good. Um, we're getting rid of three of our players again that aren't going to be featured in this, you know, our franchise. They're not part of the OG squad, so we're not going to use them. And now that's up to what five that we have. So looking at the team, <clears throat> we got Dave Julio there. We're gonna bring Robles into the actual bullpen. This is what we're looking like. Malachi and Lennard are in the minors. I'm gonna let them develop, see how they do a little bit. Um, but overall, the team doesn't look horrible. Obviously, I, I gotta keep Bartholomew here. He's like that 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 player you just can't get rid of. Um, so he's one of those players. But I'm going to see how the bullpen works here. Obviously, Darby Jarvis would be a player I would look to replace. But for right now, I'm okay with that. And then a thing that I did do, I saw some of you guys commented it in the last couple videos. Victor Mesa Jr., Victor Victor's brother. I'm going to call him up. I'm going to give him a shot in the majors this year. See how he does. You guys can see the bench here is all of our players. The only one of pl the players who is in the who didn't get called up i believe was um what's his name chris montague chris montague is in the minors i mean he's 22 he could develop pretty quickly in double a for us maybe end up being a decent player i still kind of want to add another corner outfielder i'm actually going to make salgado a right fielder right now see if that helps us out or helps his overall any any bit it keeps about the same and to be honest i like that move for him you know he's in right we got busby who's a possible player we bring up so we got two players that we still need to add so what do you guys think we should add so for this this is what i'm going to let you guys decide i'm going to let you guys decide who we need to like fix in the lineup so this is what our lineup is going to look like I'm going to obviously move the order around, but where do you think we need to improve the most? And this is where you guys are going to come in. I want you guys to make the decision on the last player or two players um, that we need to we need to improve on. I think maybe second base and then uh, maybe another, maybe a bench bat, maybe a player we just bring in to be a bench bat 
or maybe an outfielder who knows let me know what you guys think i'm gonna let you guys decide like i said we brought in salgado that was one move we brought in four pitchers in yimmy garcia dave julio cole stewart and Johander Mendez, maybe even a new starter. So in the comment section below, go down there and let me know who we should pick up. We have, what, two more options we could get. We have five players right now. We could pick up two more players. So let me know what you guys think we should pick up. Should we get a starter? Should we get a third baseman, a left fielder? What should we do? This is for you guys to decide. I wanna let you guys decide what we should, you know, what we should upgrade in the team you guys see the team here this is for you guys to decide what to do but everyone is looking pretty good you guys can see um some players have gone up a little bit in overall there haven't been too many big changes maverick moss is the one who's really developing really really quickly um he doesn't really have any power or anything but that contact number is good to see and i think him and Villanueva could be a decent little pairing or if you guys think that we should get a new second baseman, I'll definitely go out and get us a new second baseman to pair up with this 6-5 shortstop who's going to be an absolute beast. So you guys can see the team here. This is how we're going to line up for season two um, before we actually, you know, obviously we're going to make another trade or two because you guys are going to decide what position we are going to, um, you know, make the change. Uh, so once this third season starts, we'll have a full lineup with all the changes made and uh, I'll have the changes that you guys decided. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, one quick more thing is top prospects. We have two. Geraldo Villanueva is the fifth rated prospect and the other one was one of those uh, Rule 5 draft um, players that we had in Cole Stewart, I believe it is. I was looking, yeah. Cole Stewart is the 42nd prospect this season so i think we, we made some big moves you know victor victor's up to an 81 this salgado guy looks pretty solid um sean robles is almost a 70 Villanueva is a 76 um kevin page is a 65 that's that's a big jump for him you know almanzar is a 74 that's huge that was huge and then uh robles is up to a 72 lee humphrey i think I think we're, we're starting to full like actually become a decent team now and uh, we're still kind of keeping hold of some of the OGs like Bartholomew, Darvi Jarvis, we have uh, Victor Victor obviously but we're, we're starting to actually kind of have a, a uh, you know an identity a team that you know we still have some pieces that we're building around so I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode I know there isn't any gameplay I know it was mostly just offseason moves and stuff like that but I just got I just wanted to show you kind of get you caught up on how everything is going to be in the offseason and where we're at so once we start season three we'll have the all the changes done and uh it'll be it'll be a good season i'm 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 aiming for i'm aiming for 20 wins this season it's a big ask but i definitely think the team can do it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button down below again in the comment section let me know some players you guys want to change and i'll see you all in the next video peace